Hey guys and gals, hey YouTubers. This is RV Steve Travels. I wanted to do a short video. Um, it's going to be a series actually of my power uh, for the bus, the shore power connection. I've already got the, you might have seen in my other videos, I've already got the actual uh, cord, shore power cord, and I do have the attachment that that goes into that you mount on the side of your RV. And then of course you run it from there to your electrical panels and um, electrical service centers and what have you. So. I'm at part one where I've already got the hole cut. Um, I did use my sheet metal nibbler, which I did a little review on. I got it on Amazon for 25 bucks. It works awesome. I do recommend checking that out. The link's below in the description for these on Amazon. And, uh, from there, I'll just run my, I'm using uh, eight four wire, eight gauge four strand wire, because it is 50 amps. So um, I'm using that wire, so it'll be several parts to this, but this will be the first part. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. This is part one of a series of me installing the 50 amp shore power box here on the side of the bus and I had to cut through the stainless steel so that's where I used that special tool I did the video on for the steel sheet steel nibbler and that's how I made this uh, perfect hole to uh, enable to install this at any rate I want to go ahead and start and here we go All right, so I got the hole done where the electricity is gonna come in the side here. And it's gonna come in here and then my electric box will be right up there. But um, as you see, it's really rough and I wanna go ahead and smooth that out. Use a filing bit on my drill. Hopefully you can see it. What I did, as you see here, I installed the 50 amp receptacle for the shore power. But I wound up using 84, I'm not sure if you can, you guys can actually read that or not, but it's 84 wire. And what it is, 84 is uh, 8 gauge on the wire, that's the size, and then 4 strand, which is the 50 amp, for the 50 amp. If this was a 30 amp, you'd be missing most likely the the red one there so you'd actually have like 8.3 or even 10.3 wire for 30 amp but being it's 50 it's going to I'm using the 8.4 for this one <laughs> 